Welcome back, Lexophiles. Have you ever needed a word, but couldn't find one that sufficiently describes the idea you're trying to get across? Well, you can always do what Brady Heron from the Hello Internet podcast did. Repurpose an old, underused word, like freebooting, definition. Freeboot, verb. To use the content of another creator, without their permission, in such a way that it bypasses their revenue source and replaces it with your own. Also, in the 16th century, it referred to piracy, history, and etymology. Originally a borrowing from Dutch, freebooter, in the 1570s, meaning lawless, adventurer, pirate, or plunderer. This is also the word we derive booty, meaning treasure. The French word filibuster was also borrowed into the English language around this time to mean pirate or plunderer. But we have repurposed that word similarly and I'll definitely be covering this word in the future. But freeboot had almost completely fallen out of usage in the English language. But on February 26, 2014, Brady Heron from the Numberphile channel and CGP Grey, another educational YouTuber, released the fifth episode of their podcast, Hello Internet. In this episode, during a conversation about how newspapers would take segments of his show, re-upload them, and then run their own ads next to them. Completely bypassing his channel and any opportunity for revenue he might have gained from this exposure. Neither Brady nor Gray thought that piracy, infringement, or theft were reasonable words to describe this behavior. And that's when Brady brought up the possibility of using an old word, freebooting. Here it is in Brady's own words. Yes, I freebooted this clip from their podcast. I think I would, I would say it's fair that most people agreed that there should be a, a, a distinction, but there were a fair number of, of people who uh, did like this idea of trying to come up with some different word that infringing is not the best word for this situation. All right, I've um, got a word. I've got a word. Oh, yeah? You have I'm a word? Gonna, I'm going to throw one into the mix. Okay. And it's not perfect, but uh -huh. I want to be part of the debate. Uh -huh. How about this one? Freebooting. 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 Because uh, basically it was inspired by a few people were saying different mm. things and you told me about piracy. Mm -hmm. So I went, I went and looked up words associated with piracy and I came, along, I came across this word freebooting, which is uh, to do with piracy and looting and taking things. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I like that it's got the word free in it because they're taking things and, you know, taking things without paying. And I like mm -hmm. that it's got booting in it because it's, it's that makes it sound a bit computery. But I also like that it's got this history of piracy and a cowboy activity. So I, I'm going to put freebooting out there. But really, I don't want to cost them any revenue. I love their podcast, and I really want you guys to go check it out. There's a link to their podcast and their various channels in the description below. Almost a year later, on January 19th, 2015, Destin from Smarter Every Day released a video called Facebook Freebooting, where he discusses the same phenomenon happening to him, where a portion of one of his videos, a clip of a tattoo gun taken with a high-speed camera, was used in a similar way on Facebook. This video pretty much ensconced the new meaning of the word freebooting into internet culture. I've put a link to Destin's video below as well. Prescription. Freebooting is still pretty rampant around the internet, and I'm intentionally trying to build my channel so that it won't affect me as much as it would if I was focusing solely on YouTube ad revenue. But the real reason I wanted to talk about the word freebooting is because it's a perfect example of how easy it is to change our language in a positive way. Not all changes to our language are bad, nor are they all coming from a place of authoritarian control. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of how our language changes. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you've ever repurposed a word for a new use, let me know what it was down in the comments below. And if you're a lexophile and you love words, subscribe to the channel, for more exploration of the English language, one word at a time.